All right, so this is a quick part two, something I forgot to mention in the in the last video um, about this this jack stands. The reason I mentioned that I got a second pair of um, second set of jack stands, a little bit more expensive than these. Um, and the reason why I got it, so I have the the quick lift system and. Even with that, using hydraulic pressure to lift it and then having a positive lock and engagement, I still like using a jack stand under it, just under the car, under a, a solid component under the car while I'm under the the car while it's while it's elevated by the the quick jack system or a ranger jack or whatever you want to call it, quick jack. So I typically typically when I'm using that, I'm doing like a full service on my car. You know, I'll, I'll get it lifted on Friday afternoon or something after work with the intention of doing stuff early Saturday morning throughout the day, um, full service um, on my car. So I typically put this under the car because like, I literally only break this out when I'm going to be under the car for a, lend, a long period of time or when the car is going to be like elevated overnight. But the only downside to this is like with all, with all pin type jacks is the fact that this gap between um between this 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 hold and this hold um an inch or whatever that's an inch where you can't like control the height of the unit you know if you know what i mean like so I'll just get it as close to the frame as possible if it's just there as a secondary, you know, if it's just there as a backup to my to my quick jack. Um, so the one that I got is actually the one that's I, I the new one that I got is actually a screw type one that you can actually screw it to, you know, to the appropriate contact point on the car. Um, so I, I'm not getting rid of these. These are still going to be, you know, my trusted. Um, I would say first, trusted first um, professional jack stands. And obviously if I'm just, if I'm just resting the car on all these, it doesn't matter because they're all gonna be relatively on the same height of the ground is relatively flat. But when I have my, my quick jack, my car on the quick jack, and that's, I don't know, 17 or something inches, this, it, this, difference right here doesn't give me the opportunity to make it right up against the car usually i can't get it right up against the car i'll have to like go one below or something so that's something i forgot to mention it's the only downside to pin style jack stands um and i was talking on the craftsman jack like i mean if this thing was to fail this pin was to supposed it was supposed to like just shear right here snap and this thing goes flying down um if your car still remains on this without falling off, you're still safe. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, I doubt that would ever happen. So yeah, just wrap this around, put this here, and uh, it's good to go. So yeah, I thought I would just mention that part two of this. It was the only thing I forgot. But yeah, pretty beefy stuff. Pretty uh, Pretty good. But I'll be I'll do a review on the next one that I have coming. It's actually a uh, Esco E S C O um, small, actually short. They have a tall one, so this is a short one. But it's a screw type jack, so I'm interested to see how that works. But it, it wasn't cheap. But yeah. when it comes to safety, I don't know. I don't know if you can put a price on it. But anyway, that's that.